Check this out. It is illegal for Tesla to sell the Tesla Model S and Model X cars that they're making right now. I know it sounds kind of crazy, but there is an interesting explanation why it is happening. And I'm going to actually have the source of that news uh, right here with me in just one second. Welcome to E4 Electric, your number one source of unbiased electric car news. If this is your first time here, go ahead and click on that subscribe button so you don't miss anything moving forward. All right, as you know, uh, the refresh for the Model S and Model X has been substantial. The motors, the battery uh, tech, the, the charging, and quite a few other things. Um, so, I, I mean, uh, people are definitely excited about it, but they are making a relatively new car. And apparently, they're all sitting in a parking lot somewhere, I'm assuming, at the factory because it is illegal for them to sell them right now now I, I i so normally the source of this would be Reuters or electric or so forth but today i literally got this like 10 minutes ago uh from uh eli burton who is the president of my tesla adventure and today is wednesday so we're just about to tape our uh, uh, supercharged with eli burton uh segment um that's also going to be pretty cool we're going to be comparing uh, the tesla model s used one to the model 3 because of this refresh things have changed um but apparently he's the one who got this news like literally a few minutes ago. So I'm going to bring him on in just one second to tell us exactly what the hell is going on. Before that, of course, I want to remind you that this video on this channel is sponsored by Byte. And check out the all new M Byte coming to the US and Europe uh, in 2020, starting at only $45,000 over a 300 mile peak range. And join all of us, over 50,000 people around the world who have uh, already reserved this amazing cars starting at, well, zero, zero dollars to reserve of this car there's a link in the description of this video to do so all right so uh let's uh, bring in eli here and he'll 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 fill us in i'm 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 kind of just as shocked that you guys are so eli well welcome to the show and uh i know we're just about to pre-tape our other segment but uh tell us what the hell is going on what's what's happening with this because you are one of the people who are being delayed the delivery because you're just uh, uh, getting just about to get your amazing new Tesla. Um, uh, tell us what's going on, man. What's going on? Yeah, that's right. So I was one of the people shocked by this too because I'm somebody waiting for delivery of my new Model S, the new P100 DL with the new, you know, output power, the new range, the charge speed, all the stuff. I'm super excited. And I've noticed that it's been 17 days since I placed my order and I still don't have a vent. So when I've ordered before, when other people order, you usually have a VIN with like 72 hours of placing your order. It usually comes really fast. So I was getting a little concerned and I talked to Tesla to find out that legally they can't deliver me the car. It's like, what do you mean legally you can't deliver me a car? So don't panic. There's a story behind this and it turns out this is a relatively typical thing, but it's just causing these cars to be held up. And what it is, is the federal government requires that cars have, and I'm reading my phone here trying to pronounce this accurately, a uh, homologation sticker. And it is a federally mandated sticker that includes the car's weight, the maximum weight, the, uh, the desired tire pressure, and just kind of other safety metrics like that. And basically what's happened is with the changes Tesla has made to the Model S and X, uh, of the newly built ones, it's effectively a new car from those safety metric standpoints. So they need the federal government to approve the new sticker so they can put those on the car and start delivering and selling them to their new owners. Now, what this actually means is they, I, it's expected that in the next few days, this is gonna get approval and that I should be having delivery of my car hopefully by early next week. But for the moment, they've got all these cars made that are sitting at the factory just waiting to go to their new owners until they get legal approval to do so. That is insane. That I, I don't think this have happened before, and I understand this. If if this was ever to happen, it would happen to Tesla because they they you know they 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 uh, implement the new tax so fast that you know obviously government agencies are not able to catch up. But this is insane that it's literally illegal for them to sell their own cars right now, and you, uh, my friend, are caught right in the middle of it. Yeah, and I, I mean, I've been losing a little bit of sleep over it just out of excitement waiting for my new car. I know, car. I know. I'll tell you what, getting my second car is somehow just as exciting and I'm just as impatient as when I got my first Tesla. I didn't think that would be possible, but that has been the case. But yeah, you know what, what you just highlight is exactly correct. The pace of government does not keep up with how fast Tesla innovates. That Tesla is actually able to announce a new version of a product and get it into the assembly line and manufacturing so fast They've already got cars ready to delivery 
f faster than a federal, um, you know, rubber stamping mechanism can provide said rubber stamp. Yeah, no, I, this is this is crazy. So I will definitely keep my uh, uh, viewers uh, updated on this. I believe we're the first people who are reporting about this. That's why I'm so happy you you know you you were already here. So yeah, let let's see what happens after this. And definitely, dude, why I am so I am excited about you getting the your uh you getting P100 DL right? Like you're getting the the car. Uh, and it, it is could just literally be on the same day uh, or within a day or two as I'm returning my Model S back to the uh, the, the lease ends tomorrow for me. So I am actually very excited uh, simply because your Tesla Model S will be the only Tesla in my life for a little bit, for a while. So I'm just as excited, man. I'm just as, I can't wait to see the damn thing and, and get a ride in it. And I'm excited too. And I think your audience should be excited because this new one, Elon just mentioned on Twitter a few days ago that the new one will have a faster zero to 60 than all the previous existing P100 DLs. Uh, we're anticipating a faster quarter mile time, but why you, the audience, should be most excited is Alex, we're going to film Alex's first launch in my new Tesla, and you will probably get to see Alex throw up on camera. I, I know actually, that's something all of you have been waiting yeah, for, I, um, or it might black out, but either way, it's going to be entertaining. And people think that I'm, I'm kidding. Actually, the reason I never even thought about getting a, a, a P100 or a 90D or whatever, I when I got that car... Uh, from uh, from this showroom from the service center when I had mine in a in a service which has happened a lot unfortunately I literally realized that I cannot do that zero to 60 thing because I do get a headache for the rest of the day and I do get nauseous so when you say I might throw up I might throw up so uh, we'll we'll definitely do something fun with it but hopefully uh, we, we should do it near 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 a hospital or somewhere just in case so all right man listen thanks so much for bringing it to uh, to my audience uh, we we we're going to tape another segment that I think is uh, also very excited because it's in the light of this uh, uh, brand new Model S refresh and Model X refresh. Now we're uh, we're going to have a completely new take of you know, the differences of, of buying a used Model S versus a brand new Model 3. I know that question has been around for a long time, but now that's a new take and we're going to uh, we're going to talk about it just a little bit. So I guess let me wrap this up real quick and I will see you in a bit and we'll post that video later tonight. All right. Um, I think also we lost him for a second as well. So, but that's okay. Um, uh, th I, I'm a little shocked. I gotta tell you, I'm a little shocked. Let me know in a description of this video what do you guys think about it. If you're maybe also in line to uh, uh, to get this car, uh, if if you are experiencing this experiencing the similar delay, um, don't forget to uh, subscribe to our newsletter. As always, some exclusive material, but also some exclusive deals that are coming very soon. Only for those of you guys who are on this list. It's free to get in uh, on there, so go to e4electric.com slash VIP. That link is also in the description of this video. All right, other than that, see you soon, and uh, remember to stay charged.